All right, Flyway Mechanic here, and today um, customer brought their vehicle in because they had a check engine light on. Um, I went ahead and hooked the factory scan tool up, the Y-Tech 2, and uh, scanned it for codes. Let's see if we can... Scan it for codes, and uh, we got a P2010 intake manifold runner swirl control valve circuit high. P0647 AC control circuit high and a P0032 O2 sensor heater circuit one um, or bank one sensor one heater circuit uh, and these are all active codes so um, first thing I'm gonna do uh, yeah there's a pretty easy fix for this I'm gonna go over towards the end of the end of the uh, video here but first what I'm gonna try to do to see if um, See if these are hard faults, which I believe they are, because it says um, it says they're current. And then we're going to try this repair, and then we're going to see if uh, we can actually fix the problem on this vehicle. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and start. I'm going to go ahead and start here by clearing the codes. So we'll clear all these CCs. Yes, continue. All right, so as we can see, um, yeah, all three of those codes set right back instantly. Tire sensor location undetermined. All right, so we got a tire pressure monitor code. But um, for the check engine light here, the P2010, the P0647, and the P0032 O2 sensor, bank one sensor heater circuit, those all came back instantly. So. Um, there's definitely a common, uh, there's, there's some kind of common, there must be common ground or something. So I did a little research and come to find out there actually is a common ground on this. And uh, I pulled up a little picture here. But if you pop the hood, um, here's your cooling fan. This is the front of the engine here. Um, so on the right, right before the tire basically, underneath the hood there on the inner fender is this ground circuit. And um, I'm going to go after that sucker first and see if we can clean it up. And then I'm going to come back in here and um, erase the codes and see if see if that fixes our problem. But uh, let me go out underneath the hood and show you guys uh, where that ground connection is. There it is, right there. You can see it looks like somebody's actually already tried to repair that. Yeah, they've had a loosen and they got some undercoating on there, but I'm gonna pull it apart and re-clean it and uh, then we're gonna see if those codes will go away. There, as you can see here, I got these two ground wires off of this post right down here. And I'm just going to take some sandpaper, my grinder, and get these all cleaned up nice and good and um, recheck this thing and be right back. All right, so we got that ground connection all cleaned up and I cleared it and you can see here the codes are still active on the scan tool. What I've done is I've traced the circuit down to this connector over here. And uh, this is the C100 connector. And I found the black and white wire on it which is the ground wire for all those sensors that I was setting the code for and uh, I just took my power probe and grounded the ground wire well, I disconnected and checked it first and there was no ground so um, I'm just going to take my power probe and ground it and you can actually watch on the scan tool those are actually changing to stored they were active and then they went to stored and then as soon as I uh, as soon as I take this off, they'll go back to active. But, um, yeah, so that's going to be the fix for this. We're probably going to, um, rather than trying to trace this wire down and find out where this ground wire is broke, because uh, apparently we have a broken ground somewhere, because cleaning that connection didn't fit. So I'm just going to splice into this wire and run a ground right to the, right to the body here. So, uh, and that should do the trick. <laughs> 
I hope this video was helpful on the um, these codes here. We got a P2010, P0647, and a P032. If you have that combination of codes, you're going to want to clean this ground connection over here first, which is right down here on this inner fender. And if that doesn't work, then um, just access this C100 connector right here and find the black and white wire. First, you can check if there's ground there. If there's not, then um, you can just go ahead and run a new ground from that wire just to, a, to the chassis ground here. All right, we got that new wire all wired in here. Um, so this is where I cut it right here. And I just put some shrink wrap over the end of it. So this is the engine side, I just cut it and um, shrink wrapped over it to keep it tidy. And then I wired in a new wire into the engine side of the harness. And then I just grounded it right on the body here. And this main ground comes from the main, this comes straight directly from the battery. So I don't think we'll have any issues with that there. And I just uh, connected an eyelet right on the end of this. and. Um, we checked it again and as you can see uh, the only active code now we have is for the tire pressure sensor location which um, doesn't affect the check engine light at all so that should do it. Chassis ground here. But, uh, Thanks for watching Flower Mechanic. Be sure to hit thumbs up if this was helpful and subscribe to my channel.